Outgoing DeKalb CEO Vernon Jones is butting heads with incoming CEO Burrell Ellis. Ellis says Jones cut him off from talking with the police chief and doesn't want him talking to any department heads until he takes office. So will Ellis be ready to take the reins January 5th? CBS 46's Harry Sandler is here to explain, Harry. Well, incoming CEO, outgoing CEO. They may not like each other, but it's supposed to be a sharing of information. Ellis says the last time he was in the CEO's office, he got kicked out. When I'm, you know, kicked out of the CEO's office because he has issues and we can't get those issues resolved, then that doesn't facilitate the process at all. If you've ever followed DeKalb politics, then you know incoming CEO Burl Ellis and outgoing CEO Vernon Jones rarely see eye to eye. But Ellis says right now their differences shouldn't matter. His transition team needs access to county employees. Same kind of cooperation you're seeing between Barack Obama and George Bush. I mean, that's just a part of good government. Yesterday, CEO Jones himself said the next CEO faces many challenges. So why are these two butting heads? Ellis says it started when his transition team tried to interview police chief Terrell Bolton. Uh, one of the questions had to do with uh, take-home cars and other related questions about resources within the police department. After that meeting, the CEO called me and told me he was cutting off all access. Ellis and his transition director met with Vernon Jones on Monday, but according to Ellis, there was little discussion. He asked the executive assistant to remove us from his office. Vernon Jones denies the allegation. CBS 46 tried to talk to him today. Instead, he issued a statement. That's ridiculous. I have nothing but love for Commissioner Ellis. But due to complaints from employees and appointed citizens, I made it clear to him and Kevin Ross that they couldn't harass or threaten people who they suspected didn't vote for Commissioner Ellis. Vernon Jones also very upset. Talked to us off camera about uh, funding for Ellis's transition team. Uh, commissioners approved $150,000 in funding. Jones says he plans on having a public hearing. In the newsroom, Harry Samler, CBS 46.